Good morning, Hawaii. Thank you for joining us for your 5 o'clock update on Hurricane Douglas. It's still holding on to those maximum sustained winds of 90 miles per hour, and it's still continuing that momentum moving west-northwest at 16 miles per hour. So we haven't seen it weekend since overnight. We're going to continue to see pretty much this trend according to the latest track. At the center of Hurricane Douglas as of 5 o'clock this morning, about 85 miles northeast of Hilo, Hawaii, 110 miles east of Hana, and 240 miles east of Honolulu. So as you can see, slowly trucking parallel to the island chain, and we've got the latest track and also a few new warnings and advisories in place. Starting with Maui County, that hurricane watch has been upgraded to a hurricane warning. That includes our Molokai, Ladnai, Kaholawe and Maui. Taking a look at Oahu, count, uh, Oahu as well as our Kauai County, that hurricane warning remains in effect again for Oahu, Kauai and our Niihau. Down throughout the Hawaii Island, we did have a cancellation that Hurricane Watch canceled for Hawaii County, but that Tropical Storm Watch still in effect. Although this advisory has been canceled, we're still expecting wind speeds to bump up, and we're also getting some rainfall along Hamakuo Coast, as you can see with those outer bands of moisture there. We also have that high surf warning in place for most east-facing shores, as you can see, within the highlighted area and a high surf watch that is in effect for a high surf advisory that is in effect for a few of those west facing shores. Now taking a look at current wave heights right now for Hawaii Island, Wailea picking up 10 to 15 foot faces, Paukaa at 6 to 10 and as we jump on over throughout Maui, Hana 10 to 15 feet and then a bit more northwest Honomanu Bay at five to seven feet. Definitely life-threatening, dangerous wave conditions. You want to stay out of the water until this storm continues to pass. Please and thank you. Taking a look at that high surf warning again, 15 to 25 feet is still expected. And we have those very strong wind speeds along those coastlines, anywhere from 20 to 60 miles per hour. Taking a look at that flash flood watch, it is still in effect until tomorrow evening and rainfall totals still expected at least 5 to 10 inches. Now the latest track continues to show not much weakening is in the forecast. That cone of uncertainty just brushing north of Maui County expected within this cone of uncertainty the possibility of a direct impact for Oahu's east side as well as our Kauai as a category one hurricane. So we're going to continue to track that even closer. Again, our next update will be throughout Good Morning Hawaii at six o'clock this morning. Here's a look at that track. You can see it's continuing to move northwest and then more so take that westward turn throughout today. Tropical storm force winds still extend outward up to 105 miles and those hurricane force winds from the center still extend outward up to 25 miles. Now we're going to continue to track all of this and bring you the latest updates. I'm also staying very active online, so all of our family throughout the eastern end of the state as of right now definitely want you to stay at home, send pictures from your window or your porch of the weather outside. We'll definitely keep you updated all throughout Good Morning Hawaii starting at 6. See you then.